In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use keywords in Final Cut Pro 10. And this little tip is great if you wanna speed up your workflow or if you're working on bigger projects. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we're inside Final Cut Pro 10 and keywords is a great feature to improve the speed of your workflow and to help you find clips that may be buried inside thousands of other clips. So just here, I've brought up some clips from a recent holiday. Uh, I went on with my wife just to Cornwall and we visited Exeter and a few other places uh, on the way down. So I'm just using these clips as examples. So uh, you can see here, I've got a few clips where we're driving down on the motorway. So let's pretend you have like a thousand clips of driving. You have a thousand thousand clips of you visiting hotels and all other things, restaurants and all that kind of good stuff you do on a holiday. What you can do is, let's just say we want to categorize all of the driving clips, just so when I've got a bigger timeline, I can instantly go and find another shot of driving. All you need to do is select any clip and then press Command K on your keyboard. And this will bring up your keyword shortcut editor so um, or your keywords editor sorry so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in the keyword driving okay now let's look at this clip here uh, you can see it's me driving my wife this one's back window I'm gonna call that uh, driving to and you can see it's added that keyword now you can add multiple keywords in here as well so let's just say for some reason you need at some point a shot of a lorry okay so you can see there's a lorry in this shot here so i'm going to call it driving you can see it pops up there and i'm going to add in the keyword lorry now as you do this you can see little a little blue bar appear over any clip that you've added a keyword to now you're probably thinking hang on well this is going to take ages if i've got a thousand clips and i have to type in driving to every clip that's going to take forever well the good news for you is that you can see here on the left hand side you've now got a little key icon and this will categorize all of the clips that you have typed that we're driving in so you can just go to those clips so you can see the one we did there of driving and lorry you can see that is in this one because we had driving and the word lorry this one we only added lorry to that clip so that's the only one that appears in so let's go back to the full Cornwall day and I'm going to use this one here and I'm going to call this uh, I'm going to name this sorry building now you think, as I said, you're thinking this is gonna take ages to add all of these keywords, but what you can do is select multiple clips. So let's just say we can see this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I'm just holding down shift to select multiple clips. And what you can do is just select them all and drag them onto the driving keyword. So you don't have to go in and type that keyword onto every single clip. You can just look through your clips and if you know they are the driving clips, drag them on and as you can see, we've got all of the driving clips in one place. I could do the same with the building. So if we go there, let's just go down here and let's select this clip here, this clip here, this clip here oh, of the buildings. I think I've got a marking point on there. I'm just going to drag them over to buildings. And then we've got all of our building clips in here. Now you can use this for multiple reasons. Maybe you want all of the two shots of someone. Maybe you want all of your vlogging pieces to be found. Maybe you want all of the clips of a cat, for example. You can do this with keywords and this makes editing so much faster. So I hope that's helped. So there we go. You can see already by adding a few keywords to your clips, this can really speed up your editing workflow. It's something I don't use all the time for smaller projects, but I really use it if it's a big project because it just helps you find those clips super fast and the way it puts the little key in the uh, sidebar that is great if you want to find some close-ups or some wide shots just in an instant so that's a little tip there for today in the next video I'm gonna show you how you can rate a clip and rating a clip basically means if you've got a hundred clips and you think maybe 30 of them are the best ones to use you can just view those clips within Final Cut. And again, it really helps your workflow. So stick around if you wanna see that. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.